This is video number one of the Patriotic Star Door Hanger. Hey, it's Rose from the Painted Toad, and as promised, I'm bringing you a, a fun little painting for today um, that you can do this weekend if you're looking for something to do uh, yourself or with your family. And uh, it's really simple. Let me show you here. It is this wooden star cutout. Um, I got it from Michael's. I think it was 30% off this weekend. So I'm not going to keep talking. I'm just going to show you how to paint this. Um, and of course, you know, whatever I do is what I do. You could change it up any way that you want. First things first, I'm going to take a little piece of tape here and pull this hanger back and tape it down. And while I'm on the back here, you know, we're going to paint the front side, but there's a whole other possibility here on the back side. So maybe I'll paint that another day. But I've got my paint all ready to go. I've got about 20 minutes before I have a class to teach. And uh, I've got some dark blue here. I think this is ultramarine. No, I take that back. It's thalocyanine blue. Don't be intimidated by the color name, just dark blue. We've got some red. I've got some white. I've got this Naples yellow, which is kind of just like a, you can see right here. It's not a super bright yellow. It's kind of toned down a bit. And then I've got a little bit of black. So first things first, I'm going to mix up some of my colors and I'm going to go with the white first and I want to, I'm kind of going for um, more of a, I guess, rustic or, oh, what's the word? The darker tones, you could do the super bright, but I want it to look, I guess, a little bit more old fashioned, kind of the old style where the red's more of a burgundy and the blue's toned down and more of a navy. So technically, I mean, you could just buy those paints in the craft paint aisle, just pick those colors. I am a paint mixer, though I like to mix my colors. So, now this already has a design stamped in it. You can kind of see it's um, pressed in a little bit. This is probably done, this is probably lasered. So I'm gonna just do a very simple design here with my flat brush. And the flat brush is nice because you can get those edges really nice. I haven't really decided if I'm gonna do these in between lines or just leave it as the wood. So for right now, I'm just gonna leave it. Um, I may change my mind later, but you know, we'll see. Sometimes as I get going on these paintings, I go in a completely different direction, which is, you know, it's fine. That's what we call artistry, right? Creative in that moment. To save time, I'm going to speed this part up just a little bit. All right, here. There we go. I got a little bit more of my cream and I just um you know I mentioned at the beginning what I was mixing there but it was just white with this Naples yellow so it kind of makes it look like an off white I'm going for the um kind of old fashioned Americana not the bright bright colors I wanted something to, that looked a little more rustic so for my reds and my blue this is pretty bright so what I'm going to do I'm going to take a little bit I don't want to use too much black because if you use too much um, it might take over. So I'm going to take just a tad of black. I can always add more. I'm going to add it into my red here to bring this uh, tone down a little bit and get kind of a darker shade of red. I want more of a burgundy here. I could add a little purple to it if I want, but I don't want it to look too purpley. So what I'm going to do is just kind of go with the black and see how this looks. So whenever you mix black with um, a color, we call make we make a new shade so that's that's what it is okay let's come on in here with the stripes so yeah oh that looks pretty cool i like the tone of this it's definitely darker it's a nice shade of red so i'm going to try to speed it up here just so that i can get most of this done Hiking was always cool. That is something I did always enjoy because um, you can really get 
probably because we can really get to a remote place. You know, you can go to remote places and kind of see cool things. Um, that was the first time I've ever experienced uh, a live bear. We had, um, we were camping in the Porcupine Mountains, or backpacking, I should say, because we were way out there. You can't really get a car where we were. And um, so in the Porkies, they call them the Porkies for short, which is way up in the Upper Peninsula. And we, um, I'll just kind of finish the story because I know I don't have time to do my blue, but I'm going to have to pop back on to do the blue later. But anyways, um, camping in the Porcupine Mountains and we, um, oops, I'm going back and forth here. There we go. Um, we actually had a bear, uh, a black bear and her cubs come and steal our food at night. This particular site, we had, they have bear poles where you're supposed to hang our, your food, but we weren't near one, our campsite. We were camping with other people and they left their, it was crazy. They left their stuff laying all over the campsite. The one guy, like everyone was so tired. He left this pan, like pan of stew sitting next to the campfire, which is probably what attracted the bears. But anyways, um, my husband and I, we hung ourselves up being responsible. We're like, we're going to hang our food. Do you know that bear went for our food? It left everybody else's though somebody did lick all the stew out of the pan probably the cubs she had two cubs but literally i woke up in the morning and i woke up to the feeling of something heavy next to our tent um like you know like something is heavy like you can feel the ground moving underneath you which is kind of freaky <laughs> maybe that's why i don't like to camp anymore but i sat up i looked out the tent window and literally there's like two feet i exaggerate the story always gets closer but let's say two meters away was this huge mother black bear and running around the campsite like crazy were her two cubs who were probably on a sugar high from all the food that they had eaten. So she ran up the hill. My husband ran after her and then um, he followed her up the hill. So I'm freaking out because the bear took all of our bags of food and every like we had no food left. We had nothing left. They didn't bother our friend's stuff that was laying all over. They just, She just took ours because we hung it in a tree. She knew that if you hang it up, like, oh, there's food in there if they hang it. <laughs> so he followed her up. He found this clearing up on the side of the mountain. It was full of other people's bags from all over. So this mama bear had gone from campsite to campsite to campsite, stealing people's food and then taking it back to this clearing to feed, feed her cubs. So my husband, he brought back all of our, um, all of our toiletries that the bears obviously didn't eat. And, um, so we had to camp out or we had to hike out cause we had no food left. It was crazy. So we hiked out and that's a whole other story. Um, but maybe I'll share it another time, but I have to do my pocket paintings class. So I'm going to pop off. Um, but if I get time this afternoon, I'll pop back on and finish this painting, or I might finish it with you tomorrow. Uh, reminding you to be creative, be artistic, and get connected at the Painted Toad. And I will see you again soon. Bye. You can catch video number two on my YouTube page to see how to finish this patriotic star door hanger. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more great video tutorials like this one.